You want the orange thing again? Jedi's new toy. <laughs> the last person to use this was Brian Lanning. Go for it. I used to have one exactly like that, but mine was smaller and it had metal spikes. It's a shame about Ray. She has no interest in her. I am proud to report that we sold 10 ebooks on the day of launch yesterday. 10! That's 10 people who believed in me! I never thought I'd make it past five. But we did, we made it to 10. Now it's a slow march to 10,000. Which could happen today. It's only five bucks. And it's interactive. And it's an ebook. And it's geeky. Jenna, put your hands like this and meditate, ready? They match so long as you consider they both have white dots on them. That's true. Laying down will really make you thirsty. <laughs> Jedi needs her butt. Oh, this smells so good. Am I the only one that thinks this is the best thing ever invented? You're welcome. Did you catch our ebook announcement? If you follow me throughout social, you probably already know that we've released Locker Gnomes Interactive ABC's Geek Edition. It's an ebook, an interactive ebook available in the iBook store for just five bucks. And you can get it right now. You can download a sample if you want, but I would recommend getting the whole thing. Not only because it's awesome and I worked on it with Kelly, but it's actually pretty affordable. And given that we've spent well over a year on this particular project, having conceived of it before we even knew that Jedi was going to be born or was 
even a possibility. That's one of the reasons why in the illustrations you'll see me, you'll see Diana, but no Jedi. So if we do a, a revision for this particular ebook, uh, she's probably going to be popping up in the pages. It is dedicated to Jedi, just so you know, and anybody can download it, anybody can install it, at least on an iOS device right now. We may port it to other platforms, we're not quite sure yet. Uh, but what makes it so interactive is, yeah, you get these awesome pages with amazingly detailed illustrations. I mean, you really got to see this in person on your own device. But you tap or double tap around in random spots. Well, actually, they are known spots on a particular page. And every so often, you will find a surprise if you tap in the right spots. So you can tell how many surprises are on a particular page by looking in the upper right hand corner. That number says six. So that means I've uncovered two. So there are four more to go on A is for arcade. That is just one page. Of course, there's the second page. B is for brick and B is for many, 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 many things. So there's a possibility of even adding other pages for the same letter at some point down the line. But uh, we did our best to be balanced, to be inclusive, to you know, span geekdom and nerddom. We tried to effectively make it something that was fun for people of all ages. So even if you don't have a kid, even if you're well beyond your ABCs, uh, you know, we're really trying to do something that hasn't necessarily been done before, at least like this, and really want to have fun doing more of these kinds of things. So we're looking for reviews, we're looking for feedback, and we really do hope that you would want to support it because this would be great to do again and again and again, you know, maybe with uh, different variations of ABCs or one, two, threes or shapes and colors and you know, other things that don't exist for people who are geeks and become parents or nerds out there that are looking for something that really speaks to them. Although this book doesn't have any audio. I think today is the first day in the past couple of weeks that I've worn a t-shirt that isn't new. And for some reason, the steering wheel is very sticky. Diana was the last person to drive, unless she let Jedi do it. I almost want to turn around and clean this off. Hello? Why is the steering wheel so sticky? Oh, oh, yeah, I forgot to clean it. What happened? Sorry, I got it all over the place. It being what? It was a coffee that I had from the airport. It spilled all over me and all over. In the morning, I tried to clean it the worst it got. Okay, well. Can you clean it? I no. don't know. I may need to pick up a blowtorch. <sighs> Coffee? Hmm. Problem solved. And of course, now it starts to rain. Oh, I was quite serious about wearing gloves. J.K. Callen sent us a box! And a card! I kind of opened it, but I didn't really take a peek inside. We got a package. It's a big package. That's not the package. That's lunch. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. She filled this card with sentiment, but I'm not sure if we are supposed to share it, so suffice it to say, thank you. I'm guessing that whatever's in the bag with the pink elephant is for Jedi. It's a puzzle! With numbers! This one says, for Chris, that's me. That's Daddy's name. You can keep calling Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. It's a hat? Oh, wow. Proud father of a Jedi. Yes, Daddy's going to put this on his head. You're going to see Daddy wear this more frequently. Thank you. Okay, now you put them back together again. Three. Yeah. One. Daddy. Yes? Daddy. I'm here. Do you want to help Daddy edit? Yeah. You do? It's going to take a while. Or would you rather play a game? Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? I was downstairs and I told her that I needed to edit. And she repeated the word loud and clear. Edit? Edit. <laughs> yeah, that's what daddy has to do.
Thanks for taking a second right now to tap the like button before you watch our next story and for interacting with us across social every day. Your support is always appreciated, and if you'd like for us to keep sharing our daily story with you, we hope you pledge on geekfamilyfun.com. You'll get even more of what you love from us. Advanced screenings, behind the scenes, and most importantly, you'll ensure that we can keep doing this for you. See you tomorrow!